Hi everyone, today we're going to go over the bones of the axial and appendicular skeleton. So I've already got them laid out here. The bones starting at the top are going to be considered the axial skeleton. Okay, so we're just going over bones here. The axial skeleton, and I'm going to put that just to be specific here. The axial skeleton is going to consist of all the bones of the skull, cranial and facial bones, okay? All the vertebrae, and this is going to include not just cervical, thoracic, and lumbar, but that also includes sacrum and coccyx. So it's the entire vertebral column from the top all the way down. That's a total of 33 vertebrae if you count every single segment, okay? It includes the sternum and ribs, right? So we're talking the entire, you know, rib cage, okay? And then, of course, that unique little bone that kind of looks like it's floating out in space. It's not really, it's not attached to another bone directly. Uh, it sits right here in front of the cervical spine, the hyoid, okay? So that would be our axial skeleton. What makes up the appendicular? This would be, this would be your appendicular skeleton, okay? It's gonna be all the bones of the upper extremity, right? So we're talking you know, all the bones in your hand, wrist, you know, forearm, radius, ulna, right? Humerus, so a lot of bones, right? All the bones of the lower extremity, okay? Which is why we get the term appendage, right? There for appendicular. And then the pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle, and these are the parts that some people might not know or forget. So what is considered the bones of the pectoral girdle? Those bones are gonna be the clavicle, and the scapula. So those two bones are still considered part of the appendicular skeleton, even though they kind of look like, uh, because they attach to it, they kind of look like they're part of the rib cage, which they're not, okay? So clavicle and scapula, what about the pelvic girdle? Really only one set of bones that are gonna be part of the appendicular skeleton and within the pelvic girdle, and those would be the os coxae, okay? That's plural, so there's two of them. The two os coxae, which are made up of three parts, ilium, ischium, pubis, those bones, right, which make up part of the pelvis, okay, uh, would also be within the appendicular skeleton. So just a short video on that to show you what two categories of bones we're talking about here. Look for another one soon. Good luck at studying.